Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to use, well how I'm using, Hugo, a static site generator, a completely free and open source static site generator that not only works completely fine on Linux, but also works on Windows and Mac. Now full shout out to both Chris Titus Tech and DistroTube for their videos on this subject. This is how I learned about it. Um, in this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to um, build a website with Hugo, how to theme it, how to create your very first post, and how to make a public directory for it that you can then upload to an external server, as well as show you the project I've been working on, which is rebuilding techhut.tv. So first, before I get into some of that, what we're going to do is actually go into the Hugo website, talk a little bit more about it and go into exactly what static websites are versus uh, things you'd see traditionally like WordPress. Now Hugo, as I said, it is one of the most popular open source static site generators. One of the things that's really good about this is depending on your skill set, not only do you have full control over all of the files that Hugo generates, but you actually can go in and edit the actual framework itself. For somebody who actually has the skill set to do that, that is very, very handy. And somebody without that kind of skill set could completely utilize this as well. Somebody like me, I can't write code to save my life, but I can easily read it, understand it, and edit it. And for somebody with that kind of a skill set, you're going to have a really good time with Hugo. Now, a quick little tidbit on static sites versus uh, most other websites. A uh, static site is simply a website that is only files as HTML files, CSS files, and uh, images, and that is about it. Whereas you get into something like uh, WordPress hosted websites, which might be a majority of the internet, those use uh, MySQL databases, uh, PHP, things like that. Basically, even for a small site, something like mine, where it just has like right now, I think 20 or so articles, it pulls uh, information from databases. And that's good for something like maybe a online store or something with content that's constantly changing like a social media website. But a lot of these websites now, uh, like normal blogs, don't really need databases or anything like that. And there are a lot of pros to static sites. And one of them it mentions right down here that it is blazing fast. And this is because like, for example, my WordPress website might be around 100 megabytes and it's not that big of a website, whereas the static website I generated is roughly um, a megabyte if you don't count the pictures. And if you do count all the pictures, it's probably about 10 megabytes. So that's a lot less information that somebody has to download when they're on your website. And in turn, it makes the website speed quicker and things like social media, not social media, uh, search engines really enjoy that, so it can actually help you rank higher in certain cases. So skimming through here, we can see that it is very flexible. Um, they, everything is done through short codes and markdown, which that has a little bit of a learning curve to it, but with something like this, you could just find little resources it's through GitHub Guides, Mastering Markdown. It basically goes through everything you need to know to write a general markdown file which is basically formatting stuff such as uh, item lists, uh, headers, bolding things, images, stuff like that. It's very similar to basic HTML, but almost easier once you get a grasp of it. So jumping back over to the Hugo website, uh, you can go scroll down and learn a lot more about it. Uh, there's the themes that we're going to get into in just a sec. If you go over to docs, there's a ton of helpful information here from uh, Hugo's lookup order, um, the structure, install Hugo. This is probably a resource you're going to want to go to. Um, if you're running something like I am Manjaro, which is an Arch based uh, Linux distribution, you could just search it in the uh, AUR, install it. Easy, easy, easy. Um, but you can see down here it has information on how to do it in Mac with Homebrew, Chocolatey, with Windows and um, fetch it directly from GitHub. There's a lot of ways to get Hugo. Uh, going back a little bit, the uh, directory structure, this is something that you're gonna want to uh, go to, but it'll basically lays out everything. that You have your main config file, which I'll show you, and that's where most of the data for your website, not most of your data, but where 
a lot of stuff is pulled from such as your site title and um, we'll, we'll get more into that in just a sec. But what we're going to do for now is actually look at some of the theming options. Right here we have a complete list of all the different themes that you could use. Uh, I do recommend unless if you want to write your own theme and you do have background in uh, HTML and CSS. Uh, it is kind of good to go through and actually kind of decide on what theme you're going to want to use first because a lot of the times most of the themes have the same instructions but sometimes they have specific instructions that they recommend using when building a new website. The theme that I'm using for techcut.tv is the clarify theme. All theme pages generally have instructions so if I just scroll down here it gives me a lot of different previews, a table of contents, features, and then right here it says getting up and running. So we're going to kind of go through this um, in my terminal so you can see how this is done. Let's go ahead and switch to my uh, main desktop here and we're going to run this. Uh, this right here is actually a server running, which I will show you in just a sec, of um, my website being hosted locally. If we jump back over to Firefox real quick, uh, you can see this is my current techhut.tv website. It's a WordPress website. It's very, it's not very slow, but it just is clunky. But if we go over here, this is the techhut.tv that I'm currently working on. And you can see if I jump through real quick, everything is very, very snappy. It's hosted locally, but it's basically just as fast when it's on a server. Um, and if I go down here real quick to my center screen, I stop this local server. I go back to my Firefox and then I try to go home, for example, it will be unable to connect because that is no longer running. So let's go back down here and actually create a new site. I'm going to change my directory back to the home directory, which is right here. And from there, we're going to go to these instructions and it's Hugo new site, your site name. So this is going to create it in whatever directory you're in. So right now I'm in my home directory and all you need to do once this is installed to create a new site is just go Hugo new site and then name your site. So for this example, I'm just going to call it example, hit enter. And then it says, congratulations, your new Hugo site has been created. Then it gives you a couple more steps. Everything's super intuitive and it kind of guides you along the way. And we saw over here it create the example folder, which is where my site is being hosted. Open that up. We have a couple different things. We have a themes folder, static, layouts, data, content, archetypes, and config. The first thing I'm going to open here real quick is the config. As you can see, there's not really much going on in there right now. If I zoom in, you can just see it just has the base URL, language code, and title. Now, this is where theming comes in. So if I go back up here to Firefox real quick and I go to this theme, there's going to be instructions that will eventually put the example website as my main website and then I can just go ahead and edit their site. To do this, I'm just going to grab this, which will add the theme into the directory and then go back to my terminal here and we're going to want to make sure that we're actually in the directory for our website. So let's cd into example. Now that we're in there, we can do the git in it and then run the command to actually clone that theme into the themes Hugo Clarity folder. Hit enter. It's going to go ahead and do that. And then if we go in here just to check, we have the Hugo Clarity. Now what we're going to do is paste in this command, which they recommended us do which simply is going to take this example site and paste it into our main directory. So if I go ahead and do that, hit enter, it's going to override all of those. We're going to say yes, and we should be good to go. So now if I open up the config, you can see it's going to look much different. I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger so you can see. Now doing theming like this makes it incredibly easy because then all you need to do is go in and actually edit everything to your liking. So in addition to the base URL and title that we saw earlier, we have our theme already selected. Uh, you have your various categories, what you want those things to be called. Under here you have various options for XHTML, um, the heading lines, and a lot of them have these little notes in here. So if you're not exactly sure what they are, a lot of things will tell you. 
You have your links to um, some social media, a place to put in Google Analytics, so that makes it extremely easy to actually track the activity on your website, and a lot more. If I go ahead and close this out, you can see that the theme itself actually comes with a lot of different things. If you go in here, you have a README. One thing you might want to play with later, if you have any issues especially, is under Layouts. Uh, partials here you can go ahead and add this to your um, layouts directory on your actual uh, example site or whatever site you're doing and edit things like the uh, header for example I know on my website I needed to edit the the actual header to get it how I wanted so you actually have uh, the code and here's where you can change like the site title and stuff if the configs not working that's something I ran into but close this out, we go into our example, all your actual posts and everything are going to be stored in the content folder, and here is where you can change some of the um, pages that it comes with. So you see a about MD, MD is for markdown, I'm going to open that up, and then you can see this file. So if I go ahead, zoom in here, you can see the um, some of the page information is separated this way, and the title's about, gives a description, a date some aliases so if you type the website slash about us it'll go to the same page with hugo and contact um, i'm going to show you editing this in action so let's make this a little bit bigger here and let's bring this down so you can kind of see it and open up our terminal and what we're going to do is actually run this web page so if i go to my local host here and try to run it you can see it's not going to work but if i make sure I'm in the actual directory for the website and I type something like Hugo serve it will then build that site and serve it locally so now if I go to it you can see that this is the example website for clarity and the page that I want to edit real quick is this about page right here so if I go back into that markdown and let's just say I got rid of everything here and wrote a good old hello hello world and one of the uh, markdowns is to do these asterisks on both sides and that will bold the text as you can see give that a save and you can see that when there is a change on here it automatically displays over here and that is mostly due to the hugo server you can see that it has a change detect change detected and it completely rebuilt the website and it gave um, the source information and all that. It was the about MD file. And you can use Markdown to really, really get that to, um, to look good. Now you can create um, new pages and posts through the terminal, but I would actually recommend, especially if you're using a theme like this, to just create a new, um, go under posts and copy one of these. So. For example, we have here this Markdown Syntax Guide. Um, what I was doing was just copying, pasting, giving it a new title. So let's just say uh, Hugo-Tutorial, continue. And you can see every single time I do anything, the website will refresh because there's a change detected. And then I could go into that actual Hugo tutorial, open, down the mar open up the Markdown file, and here you have a lot of information. Now this will be different depending on what theme you use. This is just how the uh, Clarity theme has everything set up. And then from here you could go in and edit your author, the title. So let's say I changed this to Hugo Tutorial. Uh, I changed the date to 2020, so to make sure it shows up at the top. You could get rid of some of these tags, change it to something like Hugo, and I'll just leave the rest as in as is for now just to show you what right once I save this it's going to detect a change down here and you'll see this change right here so file save and everything was fairly instant and you can read more and this one of the things that's really good about these files is they already have a lot of the markdown language uh, in them so you could use these as a reference or use these to build your posts off of and that's what I was doing a lot on my website, techhut.tv, which I'll actually go ahead and show you. I'm going to get rid of this real quick, close out this markdown, and move this back over here. Uh, if I go back to my home directory and go to Tech Hut, which this is the actual website I was working on, 
Um, let's end this server. So control C, that ends it. Uh, we can CD into this. So CD tech cut, just like that. I am now in tech cut. And then if I run the Hugo serve command again, it will be serving the actual tech hut website. So if I go into Firefox over here and go into local host, you can see now it is the techhut.tv website. And an example of what I was doing, which I was just showing you, if I go under content posts, you can see all the different posts I have so far, and this is everything that was previously on techhut.tv. So by the time you're watching this video, this might actually be live, so you can go ahead and check that out. Now one thing I'm actually gonna show you real quick, if I go back to my desktop real quick, what we're gonna do is build it out so we have the public directory that we want to upload to a server to host. So we're gonna be doing this out of the Tech Hut website I was building. So let's CD in there, CD Tech Hut. And it's as simple as running a Hugo command. And what that's gonna do is actually build the website using all the markdown files and everything to make the static website. So we run Hugo, we can see that it has created uh, 93 pages with uh, 61 static files and 57 different aliases gives you a little rundown of exactly what it did so that is nice and the total time it took to do it so once you have that done we can see over here that it created a public folder and this is the folder that you're going to want to upload to your root directory on whatever shared web host github whatever to actually host the website so it might not work well it might not look pretty but if i go ahead and open up this HTML. Yeah, this is what it looks like because the uh, base URL is set to techcut.tv and it's on localhost and a local file, so it's not going to look right. But when you do upload this with, to the proper domain, it will look fine. But that is an example of that. Let's go back to our centered screen. And really that's it. I'll have links uh, below to a playlist for somebody who made very, very good in-depth tutorials that I was using. Uh, one last little thing we'll check out before I go is the websites for both DistroTube, so DistroTube, which he uses the exact same thing. So you can see his website, The uh, this is done through Hugo. This is a static website. Thus, why it is so very quick. You open up everything, it's super snappy. Uh, this is one example of this, and the other example, I think it's Chris Titus Tech. He uses this as well. So, if I go to his website, this is also a static website generated through Hugo. So, overall, it is very, very nice. Uh, government uh, entities use this, big insurance companies use this. Uh, and I would recommend you use it and play with it too. Even if you don't have a website to host, it's fun to uh, get on your computer, build a little site, learn Markdown, play with it. Uh, again, I'll have links to all the resources that you need in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful day and goodbye.